there is an upward shift in growth, and that upward shift in growth is meaningful, um, but not as big as all this, right? So we were growing around 2%, and we're going to be, it would be a very good accomplishment for the Trump administration and their tax cuts if we boosted it up to 25 or 2.8. And I know you guys don't get excited by the decimal point, right? But don't you sort of make your living there, right? I mean, the idea that everybody's got to be a whole number. It's got to be three. It's got to be three. No, no. <laughs> if we end up going up by half a point on a $19 trillion economy, I take that trade all day long, mm -hmm. right? So you have, you have the spending that's happening uh, from the federal government. That's probably not going to be sustained. You also, by the way, have a little bit of inventory building and, and, and trade going on because of the tariffs. You might have had a huge amount of soybean exports. And by the way, it would not be the first time that soybeans have influenced overall U.S. GDP, that particular commodity. So some of that's going to go away and we're going to come back down to earth. And the debate is, well, where is earth? The, the, the debate is really how big is the speed bump going to be? If you're upshifting and you hit a speed bump, you got to slow down. <laughs> A little bit. And the tariffs are the ultimate arbiter of that. What if right? I told you uh, all right, the number that we're going to get is going to be fantastic, okay? But it is going to be as good as it gets. What's that going to mean for the stock market, Doc? Um, I don't know a lot of us, Judge. Uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll just speak for myself. I don't believe that I make my investments based on a GDP number. Um, I just don't do that. I pick individual stocks. I don't trade the broad market as much, Stephen. I'm happy when I see a good GDP number, but Scott, to your point, if whatever the number is, four, four and a half, five, whatever the number comes out at, if that's as good as it gets as far as GDP, great. Um, it doesn't change my it, opinion if, at all. If it is as good as it gets, mm -hmm. the theoretically the stock market would then in the back half of the year start to build in the case of slower growth, no? And that would certainly impact. Certainly slower than 4.8 or whatever the high end is, Steve, that people have projected. So you're right about that, Scott. But overall, it doesn't really change my investment. There are thesis. parts of the market that are doing that already. So mm -hmm. the industrial market, you look at the autos mm -hmm. now trading, they're all building in. I mean, GM basically said we are forecasting these input costs to be not one time, but we have to actually put them into our guidance. So when you look at the GDP at four, I think you're going to go down and the market's then going to have to make a, a decision, X tech, what is the real growth rate of this economy and is it sustainable when you get comps in the first quarter next year and second quarter, you're not going to have the same type of fiscal multiplier effect but, that but, you but, had but, this but, time. But, but there's a positive side of, of, of that because it's kind of a, a, a little bit slower growth right. does not necessarily impact anything but interest rates and interest rates are one of the fears that we have on the table right now and the trajectory of rates and there's a likelihood that the fed could slow down quantitative easing uh, and not well just you know Tighten. slow the place of the yeah. tightening of the balance sheet on the front end on, right, right. Yeah. And, and and that has a positive impact if so I, if i said though okay um tariffs and trade are going to remain an issue the fed is going to stay on its tightening path uh and growth is is not going to be uh, sustainable beyond the number we're going to get. That is going to factor into the psyche of investors. Yeah, but, but I think, again, I, I think what's happening, and I think what, what if you look at the market trade, and you guys know better than me about this, but the market's not trading like it's a 4% plus economy. The market's trading like it's a 25 and maybe 3% economy. And once again, Scott, that's the victory. That's fine. If we can upshift a half a point to a point, Forget the political bluster from the White House, which is four, five, six, stop me when I get to double digits, 10% uh, growth. No, if they end up, and I'm, I'm trying to but give them a success on this, and they won't take it <laughs> from me. You can't dismiss it. You, you can't because the, you, the president is already commenting publicly about the Fed raising rates. If, if growth slows to the point where it becomes a political headwind, for the president, and the yes. president deems all, it to all be true. in part all because true. of the but Fed. My point, my point would be this: it's going to be You're very going to get hard. More First of all, as to stock picking, House, I would less. like to point out that something like 50 to 70 percent of the change in stock value is essentially beta tied to the economy. So you can pick your stocks on the 30 or 40 percent remaining, mm -hmm. but you're going to go up and down with the economic data. A rise if, if, I, tide if, lifts if I guaranteed you that I could tell you next year there'd be a recession, you would have a different stock outlook 
than if I told you next year we're going to go two and a half, three percent. So you got to be That's careful kind of ignoring the economic of the data. That's the headline of this conversation to right. begin with. Right. If I if I told you the economic picture wasn't going to be as good as we think, you're going to somewhat change the kind of stocks that you're picking. Now, but, but if you liked Steve General Motors said, before, mm -hmm. if you like General Motors two, three, six months ago, like Jim Labenthal has. Are you now reassessing a stock like General Motors because you think that the tariffs are going to be so punitive and they're going to have a dramatic impact? The stock's down 7% today mm -hmm. so, because of these input costs so, that are so going GM up. Lord are they guidance. transitory? Maybe. So GM lowered their guidance from 630 to 6 bucks. It's six. It's still $6, and they've still got a lot of positive. I'm with Jim on this one. I'm still a buyer at these levels because I'm not fully convinced that this is going to be a permanent issue. I think the company's well run, and they're going to go through this. But there are going to be other industries that I think if, the ta if they can't work through the tariffs and the input costs that are coming through oil and other things, I would stay away from certain stocks because of that. So you do need to reassess. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.